Well hello and welcome back. Today we're looking at another very interesting piece in 1911 history. Now this is not a Colt, this is a Springfield Armory pistol and uh, as you can see this is a skeletonized or a cutaway version of this pistol. Now this pistol is from the 78,000 serial number range which puts it into approximately 1918. Now um, this one in particular came out of the uh, Rock Island Arsenal um, Museum and it was purchased from that uh, many years ago and it's just a very unique piece of history here and we'll go ahead and take a closer look at this. Now the reason that these were um, cut away like this is this is of course in the days before our very cool animated videos that you can see here on YouTube that explain the function of the 1911. This would help assist people in understanding how uh, the pistol operated. And uh, it's cut away in all the critical spots where you can really see things going on internally. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll start here on this side. And we can see here we have the uh, recoil spring and the recoil spring guide rod. And I'll go ahead and I'll try to Pull this back so you can see that spring compress and there you can see that action and then we'll move up here on the slide and we have the barrel in here and I'll put that snap cap that's sitting on the bench in here in just a minute but you'll be able to see the round in there when that is going on and you can see the barrel move back as I pull the slide back as it uh, releases from the lugs as it goes through its full range of motion. And then up here we're going to be able to see, uh, maybe, maybe not, um, the firing pin and the spring. We'll go ahead and just pull the trigger on this once. I don't think you're going to be able to see that quite very well there. I think, there we go. Try it again. All right. Well, anyway, we'll move on from that. And here we have the thumb safety and a cutaway, so you can see the springs and the sear in there. We'll go ahead and cock our pistol so we can engage our thumb safety and try to get in there so you can see this a little bit. The other side, you can see it much more clearly. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, disengage that, and we'll move down here where you can see the grip safety and how it engages the frame. We'll go ahead and flip this over and we'll look here. I'll go ahead and uh, decock it there. And here you can see the main spring and you'll watch, be able to watch it compress as it goes through. There it is at half cock. There it is full cock. And then we'll go ahead and let it go again and then in the grip safety here you can just see internally a little bit see if I can get it to where I can get some light on it and uh, not much to see there but anyhow we'll go ahead and move on over here and now this is a interesting part that I was looking at for quite a while to try to see everything in there move and engage and disengage but uh, we'll go ahead and we'll pull this back. Now we'll go ahead and try to pull the trigger. As you can see without the uh, grip safety engaged, how it blocks the trigger from going full motion. Now we'll go ahead and move this and you can see how the grip safety moves up and now allows the trigger to pass. And then we'll go ahead and we'll pull this back and if you are able to see down in there. I'm going to go ahead and move the thumb safety. You can see the thumb safety mechanism move up there also to block the sear. So now even with the grip safety engaged the trigger can still not be released or release the hammer. So there's that and then over here on the top we're going to be able to see barrel lugs engage the slide and that work together as a unit and then here this cutaway is for the extractor 
See if I can get down in there. A little bit of light getting down in there to see. And then here, right next to the uh, slide stop, we'll be able to see down in here again and see the barrel drop down as it goes through its cycle of operation. And then we have here another cutaway to be able to see. Let me see if I can disengage this. Uh, in this poor light, you're not going to be able to see down in there. That is the, uh, of course, the magazine catch. And uh, can't see that very well. And then up here at the front, we have the uh, barrel bushing here. I'm trying to fight to see if you can get that. There, you can see a little bit of motion in there, but that's what that's primarily for. And then we'll go ahead and take a quick second and we'll put our snap cap in here so we can see what that looks like. Okay, now we have our snap cap in there and here we go. Hopefully you can see down in there. I think I'm going to set this down for just a moment and grab a flashlight. And where's my flashlight? All right. If I have one that works here. Okay. You can see that snap cap down in there. And uh, the uh, ejector or I should say, excuse me, the extractor on how it grips the actual cartridge. And then if we move around here to this side, you can see the cartridge down in there again. So here we go, just a, uh, another really interesting piece of 1911 history. Oh good, we're getting some good light on there now. And uh, you can see how this uh, skeletonized 1911 would help aid in understanding the uh, workings of one of these and since we're looking at this real quick I'm gonna go ahead and show you here's the uh, Springfield Armory logo right there and then we have the ordnance uh, stamps here on one on the frame and of course one up here on the slide but anyway, another very interesting piece of uh, 1911 history. I hope you enjoyed this short little video, and thanks very much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day.